Hey guys, it's Rush G here. How you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Ken Tech. It's season four and I haven't put a lot of Ken Tech or videos out for you guys. As I mentioned in a previous video, it's nothing really new to show you guys, but I'm looking to fill the gap in terms of knowledge and just stuff you can use that I haven't really shown off. Um, stuff that I developed, uh, I'm not gonna say recently, but the, the, towards the end of my gameplay that I may not have shared with you guys. Um, this video today, I'm gonna to I'm gonna do them all as quick Ken Tech video. I'm gonna try and do them as fast as I can, but as informative as possible. So this is a quick Ken Tech video. And this one today, we're looking at Ken's plus one scenarios and how to capitalize on them using Logic Tatsu into v VTC. It's something that I do a fair bit, and I've done it more given like where I got to with Ken before I sort of dropped off. But I don't think many people use it. Um, enough in my opinion it's, it's, it's very yeah there's not many scenarios you can use this because Ken doesn't have a fat lot of plus one scenarios you've got to have V trigger stocked as well but there are times you can use this um, the one in particular I've used it uh, the scenario I've used it in is after CA for those of you that don't know Ken CA causes a hard knockdown so there's no quick rise or back rise there's just a delayed rise so it's always the same knockdown um, timing in terms of OK once you get the knockdown and the opponent's in the corner like where, where Ryu is now is where they end up and you can get a dash dash so once you land CA you can you can ends up around there you get two dashes one two and if you time them perfectly you end up point blank right in the opponent's face and you plus one there so that's the first scenario the other scenario is the X5 wall we all know that's plus one as well so the reason why I'm doing this video is is because when you face opponents that have a three frame, like Ryu, as you can see there, he's blocking and he's mashing, well, he's pressing three frame as a reversal after blocking. Um, so if I show you now with the EX Firewall, if I press my fastest button, my fastest normal, which is a four frame, we trade. I get the timing right. There you go, you trade. Because even though I'm plus one, my stand light punch is a four frame, same as my crouch and light. Ryu's stand light punch is a three frame. So we're both connecting. Our active frames connect at the very same time. So even though I'm plus one, it's not enough to get um, get a hit on Ryu. Even though I'm plus one, it's not enough. I need to be, Ken needs to be plus two to frame trap, unfortunately. There are situations where he's plus three um, as well, but plus one does nothing for Ken. So your options are, Let's say you've got no V-Trigger and you want that hit, you want to score the uh, the hit after the X-Fireball. You can like your Tatsu. You can do that and you can like Punch DP. But obviously, unless you're a madman, you don't want to do that because there's there's a heavy risk. Even more so with the Light Punch DP. There's big risk there, so it doesn't make sense to do that. Now Light Punch DP into VTC is minus 7 I believe. Minus 7, yeah. So that's punishable, so that's not a wise move. But you guys already know this, like Iktatsu into VTC. It's plus, it's plus two. So you get a frame trap there as well, which is nice. If I were to do stand light punch, I think. So you can see there, frame trap. Nice damage from the, from the V-Trigger cancel. But if I do EX Fireball, and the opponent has a three frame and knows that they can mash jab to eliminate my four frame pressure after it. If I do it like Itatsu and then VTC it, whoops, that's not what I wanted. See that now? So, the reason that works is exactly the same reason why it worked before without the VTC. It's a three frame at point back range. This is a three frame startup move. Um, and the fact that VTC makes it safe. If they block it, you have frame advantage to frame trap. If it hits, then you get the juggle. Simple as that. Keep doing that. That's the sort of damage you get. Not massive damage, but it's a way to utilize the like Tatsu into VTC in those plus one scenarios to get a hit. Because people know that Ken can't do anything when he's plus one. Um, there's no, there's nothing he can do. The most he'll get is the trade. The trade, or he can risk something stupid like... No one would do that, but you can do that. 
but like I said before, you can do. You do get the hit, but it's at risk. With the Lighty Tatsu VTC, there's no risk at all. It's safe. But if it hits, you get the juggle. Simple as that. So that's that scenario. Uh, we mentioned C at the very beginning, so let's just do that as well to show, to demonstrate. It's ex the exact same thing. Uh, if I set him to wake up jab. That's not what I want. Okay, got that twice. Ah, that's what we want. So let's get to land the CA. Of course you need V-Trigger stops to do this. The dash dash, like your tattoo, and then cancel it. Timing's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky to do. The timing's a bit tight. And to do dash dash, like your tattoo, it takes a bit of practice. I'm not warm at all at the moment. But when you're ready, you get the muscle memory down. It's pretty simple to do. Oh man, adding VTC. I'm very rusty, guys, so you have to excuse my uh, poor execution. The trick is to input the lightning tattoo right after you do the second dash. There you go. So, as I mentioned before, so once I get the CA, dash dash after CA, it's plus one. The old key is plus one. You can see there, I can block. If I were to do dash dash jab, it will trade, similarly to what you saw previously with the X Fireball. That was, I was a bit late on that, but yeah, it should trade. You get it right. There you go. So that's it, that's it guys. Short, sweet video, but don't think plus one is no good for Ken because he has that option. As long as you're willing to spend the VTC in that scenario, it's pretty good. And like I said, if they do block, say if you do X Fireball, so let's try and demonstrate this before I go. Turn the wake up off. Let's leave that on. No, no, let's turn that off. So if you were to do... Like, do that, I think I'd have to, I don't think it's going to work now. No, you have, to, you have to activate. Okay, it's tricky to do this. It's pretty hard. So if I were to do... Alright, he's blocked that. Now let's set him to... Mash jab. What am I doing? I'm such a moron. Let's do that again. Now we want him to mash jab after the Likey Tatsu. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. It's one more time. That's on now, isn't it? Yep. I don't know how he blocked that. <laughs> that was weird. What I'm trying to demonstrate is is where you do the we get the frame trap. So so say if he, they block the X Fireball plus one scenario, then you do like your tattoo VTC. You get the frame trap. It's weird. I don't know, I don't understand why he blocked that punch, the light punch. So yeah, you get a four frame there. Um, if you want more damage, let me see what's the damage off that. That probably is optimal for honest. 314. Yeah, it's not as much damage, is it? But you, of course, if you do X Fireball, then you do the Lucky Tatsu. Um, you're not going to have, because the X Fireball's been spent, you're not going to have CA, are you? It's not going to work. So you could. If you're going to spend meter there. could do that as well, but it's always less damage, it's not worth spending the meter. So yeah, it makes sense to do the um, light punch, back medium punch, stand heavy punch. You could do um, back straight back medium punch. It's harder to confirm, of course. Yeah, so that's the most damage yet, yeah, back medium punch, but I think to make it easy to confirm. 
stand, do the stand light punch, back medium punch. Just makes life that more simple. But yeah guys, that's it. Simple as. Made a bit of a mess of that last bit, but hopefully understood what I was trying to say. So you get the frame trap if they block the Laiki Tatsu. But if they don't, if they mash in the plus one scenario, the Laiki Tatsu is going to hit them. You're going to VTC and get a nice little juggle. And of course then you get the pressure, don't you? You get the V-trigger pressure in the corner, which is pretty scary um, as the if the opponent's on the receiving end. So it's a good, you know, it's another addition to your um, your offense which I think is worth at least considering in your gameplay. So guys, hope that's helped. Give me a shout, let me know what you think. Um, any feedback, as always, is appreciated. Cool, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.